Welcome to the Burt Locker, the home of bad bets and booze. Can we talk about Jan Valente versus Maurice Green, please? Just for a second. So, basically, Jan Valente, he's made, he, he's had most of his career at light heavyweight. Well, I say most of his career, all of his career thus far, as far as I can tell. Um, he's not had the best of runs. You know, it's been very on again, off again, on again, off again. Kind of like Ross and Rachel from Friends. Uh, if you've ever watched sitcoms in the 90s, you know what I'm talking about. Anyway, Morris Green, he's coming off of two losses. He uh, got submitted uh, by, uh, by Alonia, um, Alexi Alonia, Alonic. Who, it, you know the guy I'm talking about, the, 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 the boa constrictor. Yeah, he got submitted by him anyway. Either way, uh, this is not a bad fight for Gian Vellante to come up to heavyweight for. He's obviously, obviously testing the waters in a new division. Uh, Gian Vellante, I don't know how bad his cut was to light heavyweight, but I mean, he's only six foot three. He's not a gigantic light heavyweight, but maybe he'll just feel better at heavyweight. And who knows, the power might, I mean, the power's only going to get better at heavyweight. And Gian Vellante, he had the power to get like 11 knockout stoppages in his, in his career so far in uh, the light heavyweight division. So going up to heavyweight, maybe, maybe that's where it is for him. That being said, Maurice Green, he, he did beat Junior Albini. You know, Junior Albini was, was a prospect at the time. Uh, half of his wins, half, are by way of submission. And uh, yeah, he's six foot seven. Six foot seven, he's a big heavyweight. I mean, he is a natural heavyweight. He isn't like Jan Valante. He's not putting on weight to come up to heavyweight. Uh, you know, being six foot three, Jan Valante is going to be a, an undersized guy here. But I do feel like Jan Valante, he's, he's, he's shown in his past fights that he's very durable. I mean, before he got stopped by um, Shogun Hua, he was really, he took a lot of punishment. I mean, that's not something that you want to be famous for as a fighter, if I'm totally honest. You, you don't want to be the guy that's known for taking a lot of punishment, because that generally means that you're getting your ass kicked quite a lot of the time. Uh, but Jan Valante, if I'm honest, I just like him. He's a great. He seems like a great guy. He was on uh, Dana White's looking for a fight. I th he's in the um, Sarah Ray Longo uh, camp. Like it's, it's just he seems like a fun guy. And you know what? He's a fun fighter to watch because he goes out there. He just draws a line in the sand and he throws down. And that's why six to one plus six for Gian Valenti to knock Green out. I'm gonna have a go on that because it's a heavyweight, right? A heavyweight. Anything can happen, really. It's the little gloves. They're two big guys. They're going to be connecting. Uh, I think it's going to be that kind of fight. They're going to stand in front of each other and, and hit each other, unless, you know, Green goes for the takedown and tries to get the submission. But, uh, but Valanti's an NCAA wrestler himself. He's, he's no slouch. He, could, he, could, he can stop a takedown as good as anyone else. And his centre of gravity is going to be lower, so I don't, I don't think he's going to be necessarily the easiest to take down. And I think if it stays on the feet, I think Valante, he's got as good a, sh as good a chance as anyone. So, you know, plus six for the knockout. I'll take that. I'll take that all day. Hashtag terrible. Keep those bets terrible and uh, enjoy the fight because th this fight will be a good one.